Hi friends, it's Mrs. J. I'm coming to you today from my living room to read you a really special book about different animals in springtime and the stories about their eggs. So this is a week that some families are celebrating Easter or Passover or just enjoying springtime together. And I thought this would be the perfect book to share. This story is called An Egg is Quiet and it's written by Diana Hutz Aston and Sylvia Long. This is a science and storybook. It's called Literary Nonfiction, and it's a great way that writers tell a story, but they also teach us something while we read. So you're gonna see a lot of cool details in this story. So before we get started, I want you to just think for a few seconds about things or animals that might be born from eggs. Touch your brain, I want you to think of some. Okay, now I'm gonna say them, and you tell me with a thumbs up or a thumbs down if this animal comes from an egg. Are you ready? Okay, a bird is born in an egg. Hi, Maddie. Hi. A snake is from an egg. A puppy is from an egg. A fish is born in an egg. A snake is from an egg. A baby human is from an egg. A dinosaur was born in an egg. A zebra is born from an egg. Okay, so now that you did some good thinking, let's find out about more animals that are born from eggs. An egg is quiet. Ooh, that's a cool speckly picture because sometimes some eggs are colorful and they are speckly. An egg is quiet. And all around the pages, friends, you're going to see different animals that hatch eggs when they have their babies, or their babies hatch from the eggs. An egg is quiet. This is called a black-necked stilt. It sits there under its mother's feathers on top of its father's feet, buried beneath the sand. Warm, cozy. Here's a hummingbird, an emperor penguin, and a sea turtle. An egg is colorful. Look at all of these different colors of eggs. I bet you can find almost every color in the rainbow on these pages. An egg is shapely. There are round eggs. There are oval eggs. There are pointy eggs. There are even tubular eggs that look like tubes. Sea turtles lay round eggs. Ladybugs lay oval eggs. Some seabirds lay pointy eggs and they're pointy, so if they're laid on rock ledges, they roll around in little circles, but they don't fall off the cliff. And sharks lay tube eggs, so sharks are born from eggs. An egg is clever. The markings on some eggs help them blend in with their surroundings. This is called Camouflage. Can you say camouflage? Say camouflage. Camouflage is an egg's way of hiding. An egg might be speckled to resemble the rocks around it. That means to look like them. Or it might be gray, the color of mud by a lake. An egg does not want to be eaten by a raccoon or a snake or a fox or an insect. So it makes it, its body is camouflaged to hide. Eggs come in different sizes. An ostrich egg can be as much as eight pounds. 
It is so big and so round. It takes two hands to hold one egg. Hummingbird eggs are the size of a jelly bean. Teensy. It would take about 2,000 hummingbird eggs to be the same size as one ostrich egg. That's very different. An egg is artistic. Look how beautiful these eggs are. They are very fancy. And all different birds and animals have different looking eggs. Look at these tiny, tiny. An egg is textured, and texture is how something feels. There are hard eggs, and soft eggs, and gooey eggs. There are smooth eggs, and rough eggs. Just depends on what kind of egg it is. An egg might even be fossilized. Eggs from dinosaurs have been found that are very, very old. And scientists believe that all dinosaurs hatched from eggs. An egg is giving. It gives and gives and gives and gives its nutrition till it's born. And here's a fish and here's a little baby bug. And they all get what they need from their eggs, just like babies and their mommies. An egg is quiet. There's the mommy's legs and there's the baby egg. Then suddenly, an egg is noisy. Cheep, beep, cheep, beep, crunch, crunch. Cheep, 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 because the babies have hatched. Hooray! And this page shows all of the different babies or um, animals that came from the egg. So this is the back page. And this is the front page. So these are the eggs. And these are the animals that hatched from the eggs. Wow. What a great book, boys and girls. You keep your eyes open. You might see some eggs in your neighborhood because it is time for babies to be born. And if you want, you can make a project where you draw your own egg or maybe mommy or daddy or grandma or auntie or whoever your grown up is draws it for you. And then you can paint it or decorate it and you can send us some pictures. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.